Hi everyone, in this video, I'll be showing you a simple crypto trading strategy that you can use to make $100 per day. Now, this is depending on your capital. To make $100 per day with this strategy I'll be showing you, it depends on your capital. Now, I'll be showing you how you can set up this strategy and I'll also be showing you which technical indicators to use and I'll be showing you how to use them. Now, I'll also be showing you the steps that I normally use to take profit with this same strategy I'll be showing you and I'll be showing you how you can do them for yourself. And also, I'll be adding some things that will be of benefit to some of you or maybe all of you later in this video. So make sure you watch this video to the end so you don't skip or miss any important part of the video. But before I continue, if you are new to my YouTube channel, welcome. My name is Femi Olanio and I make videos on personal finance, cryptocurrencies, the stock market and how to make money online. So if you love content like this and you want to watch videos like this, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and please like this video. Thank you. Now for this tutorial, I'll be using Binance. As you can see, I'm on Binance right now and I'm going to be showing you how to do this on your Binance app or on the Binance website. And if you don't have a Binance account, there's a link in the description of this video for you to register and get 5% discount on all your trading fees. Now you can also use some um, different crypto trading apps for this strategy or to trade crypto. You can use some um, apps like KuCoin. It doesn't necessarily have to be a Binance alone. So you can also use KuCoin to trade crypto. Now, so on my screen right now, I'll go to the futures trading page. So I'll be using futures trading for this video. I'll go to the futures trading page right now. So as you can see on the screen, I'm on the futures trading page and the trading pay I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using ETH um, USDT. So let's search for ETH USDT. So that's what I'm going to be using. I'll be using the ETH USDT perpetual for this video. Now this strategy, you can use it for both futures trading and spot trading, but I'll be doing it for futures trading in this video. So if you are not yet trading futures, but you are still trading spot trading, you can also still use it. But if you also want to try futures trading, you can also use this strategy for yourself. Now to make this chart big so you can see it clearly, just come here to where you have this icon and tap on it. So you can see, we can see the chart clearly um, right now. Now the name of this strategy which I'll be using in this video is called the scalping strategy. Now for those of you that are just hearing the scalping strategy for the first time, um, the scalping strategy is a kind of strategy where traders take advantage of small moves over and over again in the market to make profit. Now, if you're using this strategy, you don't hold your position or your trades for a long time. You know, you open and close your trades in minutes and then you take your profit. And even with this scalping strategy, you can take as many trades as you want in a day if you like. Now, this scalping strategy requires a lot of time and effort and practice from you in order to be able to make money consistently and also you'll be needing a large capital to make large profit. You remember at the beginning of the video, I said to make $100 per day depends on your profit. So if you want to make like $100 per day with this strategy, you'll be needing like let's say $2,000, $5,000. But if you still have like less than $1,000 or less than $500, you can still make profit with it, but it won't be up to $100. So you need to take note of that. So if you want to make large profit with this, you need large capital. But if you are bringing small capital, you can still make profit, but it will just be small and I hope you understand what I'm saying. But what I love about this scalping strategy is that you have the potential to make a lot of money over time and you can't easily lose your money since um, you are not leaving your trades for a long time or for days or for weeks. Since it's just um, taking profit in minutes, you can't easily lose money. But that does not mean you're not going to lose money at all. You can still lose money, but you can't easily lose money. Now I'm just saying all of this so you can know one or two things about the scalping strategy before I show you how to use it because it is important that you know all of these things that I've said before you know how to use this strategy. Now having said that, let me now show you how to use this scalping strategy. Now the first thing you need to know is that the time frame you need to use for this strategy is between 1 minute to 15 minute time frame. That's actually what I recommend to people but for me I always use 5 minute time frame. So for the time frame you come to the top right here and you pick the time frame you want to use here. So for this video I'm going to be using the 5 minute time frame. So let's select the 5 minute time frame right here. So this chart is showing us the five minute time frame chart. And then the next thing is to pick the indicator you want to use. So the first indicator I'll be showing you is the moving average indicator. 
Now to select this indicator, just come to the uh, indicator sign right here and tap on indicator and then you pick moving average. So this is ME right here, moving average. So you tick it, once you tick this, then you come right here and you enter five days, eight days and 13 days right here. So you just enter five here, 18 and 13. Now also another thing you need to note are the colors right here, the colors right here. So you need to select different colors for these three lines. So you can be able to differentiate between the three lines on the chart. So for the first one, I've picked the red color, the second line, um, yellow color, and then for 13 days, blue color. And then once you've set up all of this, just come here to where you have save and tap on save right here. Now you can see that on the chart, we have the red, yellow, and blue line. So you can see them. This is the moving average indicator right here. Now, how do you use this moving average indicator? Now, whenever the line with the shortest day, which is the red line, is above the other two lines, it shows that there is an upward trend in that time frame. So remember, we're using the five minute time frame. So it's always important that you are always um, taking note of the time frame you are using anytime you are doing your analysis or anytime you are trading. It is very, very important because the chart is always different for different time frames. So like I said again, whenever you see the red line above the other two lines, it's showing you that there is an upward trend. And whenever the red line is below the other two lines, it's showing you that there is a downward trend. Remember, the red line is representing the line with the shortest day. Yours can be different color. It doesn't have to be red or yellow or blue. I just picked these colors for this video. Yours can be any kind of color. But just take note which one is representing for which day or for which number of days. That is very, very important. Now, let's check out how this um, moving average indicator has played out so far. So let's start from um, this side right here. So you can see at this point where my mouse is, you can see that the red line is moving above the other two lines. So you can see the red line, which is for the five day moving average is above the other two lines. And this is showing us that there is an upward trend. So you can see that from this point right here, we've saw, we saw an upward trend right here, even to this point, the red line is still above. And then we still saw an upward trend to this point. And at this point, the red line moved below the other two lines and it led to a downward trend. Now, if you check out this part of the chart again, you can see that from this point right here, the red line moved above the other two lines right here. And you can see that we saw an upward trend and this upward trend was moving to this point. So you can see that whenever the red line or the line that started standing for the shortest day moving average, it shows that there is an upward trend. Remember that. Another example is uh, this part. So you can see at this point, um, the red line moved the, below the other two lines, which, which caused the downward trend at this point. And then you can see from here to the red line moved above the other two lines again, and then led to an upward trend again. So this strategy is a very good strategy for you to know when there is an upward trend or a downward trend. So this is the first indicator you are going to be using for this strategy. Now, the second indicator is called the MACD indicator. So come here to the top right here, and then you come here and pick the MACD indicator. So this is the MACD indicator right here. So you tick it and you tap on save right here. So you can see at the bottom side of the screen, this is where we have the MACD indicator. Now, how does the MACD indicator work? Now, for the MACD indicator, you see that you have two lines on the chart. So you have this purple line and the green line. I hope you can see them at the bottom side of the screen. So let me come to this side here. It's, okay, it's very clear here. So you can see we have the purple line and we have the green line. Now, the purple line is more of a zigzag line, while the green line is just um, a curvy line. So the purple line is called the MACD line and the green line is called the signal line. You need to take note of that. The purple line is called the MACD line and this um, green line is called the signal line. Now, how do you use this MACD indicator? Now, whenever the MACD line is above the signal line, it shows that the coin or the crypto is moving up. And whenever the MACD line is below the signal line, it shows that the crypto is moving downward. Now, let's take for example, if you check out at this point right here, at this point, you can see that the purple line is above the green line, which led to an upward trend. So you can see even on the chart right here, it moved up to this point. So you can see that at this point again, the purple line moved below the green line, which led to a downward trend. And if you continue to check like that, that is how it has always been. If you check at this point again, you can see where my mouse is. 
the purple line moved above the green line and it led to an upward trend so you can see it on the chart too it led to an upward trend the coin moved from here to this point so this is how the MACD indicator also works and at this point too you can see the purple line moved below the green line and then it led to a downward trend so this is how you can use the MACD indicator now how do you now use the MACD indicator and the moving average indicator do, to decide when to go into the market now you need to take note of something that is not always good to use just one indicator to determine when to go into the market you need to apply like two or three indicators so i'm going to bring back the moving average indicator and show you guys how to combine the two indicators together before i do that if you are still watching this video please like this video and don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed to my youtube channel so let's come to this technical indicator side right here and pick the moving average so let's save so you can see the moving average is back on the screen so you can see that for example from this part where my mouse is you can see the straight line so you can see on the macd indicator which is below you can see that it's showing us that the purple line is going up which shows there's an upward trend if you look at the moving average indicator so you can see that the red line is above the other two lines which shows an upward trend now this is a perfect time to enter the market whenever two or three indicators are moving in the same direction it is a very great opportunity to enter a trade and hold your position so you can also see that from here is moving up and on the moving average indicator is moving up so this is a good time to enter the market but let's say for example you also want to short so let's say you want to short the market you can just come here you can see at this point right here the, um, on the moving average indicator is showing us that it is coming down and then if you are using checking the macd2 you can see that the purple line came down so you can see at this point right here is a perfect time to enter the market so this is how you can combine these two indicators together always make sure you are not using just one indicator just make sure you are combining two different indicators together now another thing you need to take note is that you must not hold your position for long if you are using this strategy because you are using the scalping strategy and you are using a five minute time frame which is very very short and make sure you take advantage of any small move you see in the market so whether you are longing the trade or shorting the trade whenever you see an opportunity enter the market and take advantage of any small move you see and always don't hold your position for long it is very very important when you're using the scalping strategy and the five minute time frame with this strategy and another thing i want you to know is that you need to be patient with this strategy you need to be very patient always wait for the perfect time to enter the market because you are still going to have a lot of trading opportunities because of the time frame you're using you're going to have a lot of trading opportunities so don't always rush into the trade don't always rush into, into the market just make sure you are patient and you enter at a perfect time now there are still other strategies to trade crypto not just the scalping strategy and there are still other indicators not just these indicators to trade crypto and even make more money for yourself so if you want to learn other strategies to trade crypto for yourself and even learn other indicators you can register for the complete crypto trading course for beginners 2022 now in this course you're going to be learning all the strategies to trade cryptocurrencies for profit and make it a source of income for yourself now these are the things you are going to be learning in this course you are going to be learning how to trade crypto you learn fundamental analysis and technical analysis you learn how to generate signals by yourself which is very very important you also learn how to use technical indicators like moving average macd bollinger band rsi you also learn to differentiate between different technical indicators you also learn to know when to buy and sell coins for profit you learn spot trading futures trading risk management you also learn the different strategies on how to be a profitable trader and you also learn different ways to make money as a crypto trader also in this course you have a full lifetime access to the course so what this means is that it's not a course that after two months or three months or some months you don't have access to the course again you have full lifetime access to the course so even after one year or two years you still have access to this course now you're going to be learning all of these for just 14,500 naira if you are from nigeria and if you are outside nigeria and you want to register for this course it's just 25 dollars so the price of the course is just 14,500 naira or 25 dollars so if you want to register for this course tap the first link in the description of this video to register for the course i'll see you guys in the next video bye